Taurus, welcoming guys. Thank you for joining me once again for another tarot reading with myself, Joe. Taurus, let's not waste no time. Let's get right into your reading. Your first card is the hanged one. Then we have the four of swords, ace of swords, the chariot, the star card and the hierophant. So Taurus, uh, the hanged one. First card is always the strongest card. So um, the strongest energy then, let's say that. The hanged one. It, the person on the picture, let's just focus on the image for a second here, Taurus, is hanging upside down, okay? But this, this is like an uncomfortable, it's an uncomfortable position for one, um, but at the back there is this illumination, this light here. So it's, it's clarity, a new perspective gained in some area for you. Okay, this is something that is going to propel you. It's always uncomfortable or a feeling of uncomfortableness or even unsurety before a change comes in. Yeah, And this is good change I'm feeling for you here, Taurus, definitely. And then we have the Four of Swords. This uh, represents a decision being made with these swords pointing down. Definitely, although it looks like it could have been a difficult decision, something that weighed on you quite heavily. You know, you, um, you took your time making this decision here. Absolutely, as I said, it's, it felt uncomfortable. Not stressful or anything, just very uncomfortable to make this change then. It's like a slight change, a decision that you've made that's brought in a lot of change. Ace of Swords, it's about uh, being honest, being truthful. This is the sword of truth. Again, there's that light in a circle there behind the sword as well. So this is the, the universe giving you some sort of divine understanding, yeah? Um, some clarity. I definitely want to say that clarity perhaps you have been planning to do something but uh taking your time to do that you're not not quite jumping the threshold just yet but then when this comes in it's like you have to do it it's, it's feeling like a tower moment like you have to do it now with the chariot it's, it's forward movement perhaps you've had some sort of motivation something's motivated you here because this is a lot of confidence as well you found this confidence somehow here, Taurus, and you're going forward, moving forward towards it, whether it be love, career, fine, whatever it is for you, definitely moving forward with the star card here, which can also represent healing. I'm also going to say that you are being seen as a star in some way. Something is, you're being seen by more people than seen in a better light, in a different light even. There's lots of change coming. You are committing to this particular thing whatever this be for you we shall read on and find out shortly Taurus but yes with the Hierophant um this could very well be something a uh, very special spiritual sorry um or traditional because the Hierophant can represent um some sort of traditions here i.e a commitment a relationship doesn't have to be it could just be committing to your dreams and goals um yeah definitely committing to your goals then even staying on course or, or in fact this could be that you are joining a religion or doing something religious here or just a, a, a spiritual path however that is for you Taurus let's read on oh, wow straight away and we have the six of cups and um, very much soulmate energy here and with the six of cups this can also represent somebody coming back from the past like an ex-lover or something that you could be uh, this could be a career that you may have left on pause for some time something that you're returning to okay it's something that has very good energy here, I want to say. There's something coming back to you, something in your favour. Let's read on and go into the Taurus. Taurus, let's read on and find out shortly. We also have, and that's come in reverse, we have the Nine of Pentacles. That was very clear there, wasn't it? But with the Ten of Pentacles, this... Um, it's, it's very much home, family life, okay? Um, and it can also represent your finances, something happening with your finances here, with the Nine of Pentacles in re reverse. Perhaps you have been feeling, it's, it's like there's been a dip in, in your finances somehow here, Taurus, okay? That's about to get better when you return to something or pick up something where you, you, you may have just left. Perhaps it's even a project that's, that's looking good, like it will kick off for you. Yeah. Taurus, I'm going to go straight in and get you an outcome before we move on. Oracle cards, the magician, absolutely, absolutely. There's something that you are, you absolutely have all the right tools. It's time now to move into this thing here. 
that you is something it's like a project you have left on pause and you're returning to it that's definitely something you should pick up back that's about to progress uh, very well for you here so, uh, And then go the nine of cups as i said it's it's about to happen the nine of cups can very well be a wish or represent a wish that is coming true this is something that you're very passionate about something that you may even be learning more about pages can it be very young uh, energy here um and pages are also students okay um i want to say with the page of wands okay this fire energy here this is very much passion and lots of passion for what it is that you're doing you've got the passion you've got the knowledge and understanding or are gaining it but that's about to take off for you it's something that you will have to return to or continue with okay if you are on course with that and feeling like you know it's not getting anywhere then there may be some things that you need to learn and understand about it before you can really feel that rewardingness that you are seeking taurus Let's get you some oracle cards, shall we? Let's see what advice we have for you today. Yes. Oh, wow. They just flew, didn't they? Okay, we won't be taking... Um, wait, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, we won't be taking them. That's way too many cards. I did see the yes card there, though. But let's, um, let's give them a quick old shuffle. Let's... They're just flying. <laughs> Sorry guys, so we've had two that just flew, but we'll take them. Uh, we have Starseed, what lights you up? We also have Dance with Life, do something to change your energy. I feel like something's going to happen here with the hand one that's going to change your energy and push you back onto the path that you may have left uh, for some time or that you're feeling reluctant to continue with. There's definitely something there for you Taurus, I wouldn't give up just yet. If that's um, where you, what you are thinking right now. But Taurus, that has been your reading. Again, thank you for tuning in. Please do give me a thumbs up if the reading did resonate for you guys. And as always, take what resonates, leave whatever doesn't, and do not force anything to fit with your situation. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening, guys, and take care. Until next time. <laughs>